That noise you hear in the car asking you to buckle up is going to get longer. So the IIHS, so Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, has been doing some research and some ratings. Uh, what they're finding is that most people do buckle up. So they're saying that 92% uh, uh, front seat occupants and 82% of rear seat occupants uh, in observations have been buckling up. However, when you look at the deaths, it's more like half the people that die in a vehicle accident are buckled, so half aren't. And something close to 75% of rear seat um, passengers are not buckled up to die in accidents. So they're extrapolating that you have a much better chance of surviving an accident if you're buckled up, um, which makes sense from those numbers. So they also have figured out that a 90 second notification is more likely to get somebody to buckle up. So a minute and a half of binging, chiming, whatever it is, is going to get you to buckle up. Where previously most cars were far less than that. So what they've done is marked um, vehicles in the rating as poor or average previously for having a shorter seatbelt reminder. And if they get up to this uh, 90 second, then they get a higher rating. Uh, for me, I guess I'm fine with that. I do buckle my seatbelt when I'm in the car. However, I'm constantly sitting stuff on the passenger seat when I'm driving by myself. And the thing will go off and off, uh, binging at me to buckle, you know, my book bag or whatever on the passenger seat. Uh, so I wish that sensitivity was a little more accurate because I find myself buckling the seatbelt on the passenger seat uh, just because I have something sitting on the seat. Um, and that's annoying. I don't know. Um, uh, mine tends to go off for oh, a pound on the seat. If it was set to at least 5 or 10 pounds, but I'm not sure how that sensor works. But in any case, 90 seconds is what you're going to see in the future for new cars for the notice to buckle your seatbelts. So buckle up. Buckle up, save lives. Thank you.